Hey designers, it's Quaker from Acrivi and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Bento Generator inside Acrivi's presenter. So what you want to do after you install the extension, you just want to go to Windows up top and then you want to click on Extensions and then you want to click on Bento Generator or later updates it will change to Presenter but currently because it's one tool it's just saying Bento Generator. So you click that and then you want to enter your product key also known as your license key so i'm just going to enter mine in now so now i've entered my product key you can see i now have access to the extension so i like to dock my extensions up here keeping everything nice and tidy create a rectangle or a square using the rectangle tool or you can press m as a shortcut you want to draw it any size it doesn't matter what size you create the shape the good thing about this extension is it can work for any size of um, the shape that you create. So I'm going to make mine more like a 1920 by 1080 um, and let's just say I'll just put this over there, just line it. Okay, so now what you want to do is to use the extension, the first thing you have to do is select the shape just using the selection tool. When it's selected, you can now select the bento style button. So we have simple, centered, brick, or random. So if you press center, simple, you have this. Then you press centered, brick. Um, I'll leave random to later. But you can see that nothing much changes. So in order to customize this, of course, you just open the customize drop down tab and scroll down a bit. And you can now see if you increase the sections it's still having that simple formation of a bento style and if you was to do it for centered you can see it retains the centered bento box and more come more bento box appears around and then the same for brick you can see the style it does and then again for corner radius you can instantly just use the slider um, you can see how it stops here because this is the max depending on the size of, of your shape but the default settings show the best proportions for corner radius and gutter spacing and of course you can increase and decrease your gutter spacing having consistent spacing around each shape and for example say you want to go for a bento grid layout like this you can see if there's like alternative styles and you can just do something like just just to just to mix it up and this works for all of the buttons and random is similar to shuffle but it kind of shuffles um, every setting so not just the specific style but also the gutter space and corner radius and section so if we click on random you can see how it just shows you a whole different range of bento grid so if you're going into illustrator you're not really sure what style you're looking for you can just do random and it will just generate a whole different list of styles so once you have your bento grids you now want to lock it in and to do that you simply press finalize so you have to press finalize at the end because this will remove any errors that illustrator may give you um, and it also make it easier for you to mask images as well so make sure you click finalize and when you click finalize you'll be able to see so you can see that there is now no like additional um, shapes around it and now you can go in and mask any images so if you have brand images you want to go in and add you can simply do so so I've now gone ahead and added my brand images inside so what you want to do as well is I'm going to leave the last box so I can show you just in case um, if you don't know how to mask images or just showing you how to embed and why you should embed so this is one of the final images what you want to make sure to do is embed because when you export this file as like a whole PNG when you export the canvas it's now going to be sharper and it's not going to tell you that you have to import or connect files and it's not going to have any blurry files so what you want to do is you want to place it like above and then you want to do sh hold shift command and then the 
black curly bracket I like to do it like this and then I just send it all the way to the back and then I because it's already selected I hold shift and then I select the shape above and then I just do a clipping mask and now from here I just use a direct selection tool which you can select the letter A and then I can just do something like this and there you have it just making the final adjustments and of course um, just to give it a bit more depth it's good to have like a board background but something that's just like not fully black so it so it's different to what you're showing white is fine as well but I like to do this and then you can also add the texture if you go to like effects um, but yeah so that's how you use bento generator so again you just create the shape using the m tool and then you select the buttons and then you can customize and then you can also shuffle and then you must click finalize to avoid any issues and once that's done if you want to reset your settings you can just click the refresh button and then all the settings restore to default so you have the free free sections the 30 pixels for corner radius the 25 pixels for gutter and yeah that's about it and if you have any questions you can drop your comments below or if you need further support just visit the help center again thank you so much really appreciate it um happy designing